Good morning guys. Tweet is coming down the ramp over there somewhere. But we just launched at a chase center today. And I'm gonna be making my first video in a while. I've <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing my intro tweet. And I've tried to make my first video um, to come back. This might be like my third attempt. And every time I've been plagued with like audio problems or camera problems and I just so sick of it. So um, I got some new equipment. I'm hoping this will actually go up <laughs> and we're just gonna see what happens today. We launched out of Chase Center in the morning. It's already sunrise, so whatever. But we launched out of Chase Center. We're gonna run up to Pier 49, get some live bait, and then uh, come back and see if we can get some halibut, some stripers. Let's go. It's pretty crazy for the live bait. It's going close to Lewis. Yeah, so I never really stopped fishing. I basically would go every week. Um, if you guys follow Twee Fishing 24-7, you'll see that he got COVID. A couple days after uh, he tested positive, I started feeling bad and I went to the to get a test and guess what? I had it too. So yeah, we had it way worse. Um, he was in the hospital for a long time and ever since we both got it, um, we didn't fish for like about four months, five months. I want to talk a little bit about how I got started. Um, growing up, I didn't really fish at all. Um, and I grew up in Florida. So <laughs> once I tell people that, they're like, what were you doing? I know, I know, I know. But uh, my family is immigrants and we were too busy, you know, working. That uh, we didn't have any time to, to spend. Uh, you know, fishing is kind of a leisure hobby. Um, Nobody really needs to fish, at least in the modern day sport fishing context. So, um, my best friend Aaron, he, uh, we worked together here in, in the bay, and he showed me a couple of videos from Matt's uh, Fisherman's Life. And I was like intrigued, I was like, oh this is pretty cool, but um, at the end of the day, fishing still wasn't something that was really on my radar. Um, so one day Aaron says, hey, let's go to Half Moon Bay and um, buy a couple of setups and see what we can get off the jetty. So we go, we do that. I think we might have gotten like a crab or two. We might have bought some snares. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't that, it wasn't like that exciting or anything. So I said, oh, you know what, I'll go with my friend whenever he wants to go. So. That happened a couple more times, um, and then I started watching a couple of Matt's videos, Fisherman's Life, and you know he has like so much success with the lings off of the off the shore, which is absolutely crazy. So I bought the um, what did he buy? The Kitex, the Kitex little little gummy worm things, and I gave those a shot in a couple of my earlier videos. Um, and I really sucked at that, and I don't think I, no, I've never caught a fish at all off the Kai Tech, not even a rock fish. So, I gave up on that, and I started making videos because shortly after, um, Aaron moved away. He went to Boston uh, with his girlfriend, and he got a new job, and left me all alone here. And I don't think I've seen him since, except in Florida one time. But <laughs> Aaron, I'm waiting for you out here. Um, since then, I hopped on a salmon charter. That was my first boat video. Um, and I puked three times. The weather was so rough. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea um, how to read the weather. I just said, you know what? Like, 
I'm gonna make a video and make Aaron jealous and make him not like want to move back. So I hopped on that boat and we limited out the boat. Um, even the captain and the crew got two fish, which is pretty crazy. They said that was their record, um, at least for that season. It's a holly bug. How big is it? It's okay. Ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of it's hooked pretty good because we would have lost it already since we're just cool. messing around with it. Okay, I'm going to pull it up. So after that, I I started making more and more more videos. I tried to do like once a week, um, and I think it was really the ones where I went to Bean Hollow and skunked, and then went to Pigeon Point and skunked that got uh, Tui's attention. And he said, "Hey, like this guy sucks. Let's get him on the boat." So um, he hit me up in the YouTube comments, and and we ended up going out in Half Moon Bay, and the rest is history. So. Um, the transition there from shore to boat was kind of hard because on the shore I have a lot of control. Oh, 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 oh nice one to you. Oh, on. on the spinning rod again. Yeah. Wow, a lot of luck on the spinning rod today. I want a spinning rod. Oh, lost it! Oh, what? Oh, lost it! Hey. <laughs> uh, Even Tui the legend loses That's fish sometimes. One. That was a big one, That's yeah. A big one, Tui. Man, I lost hey. big one, guys. We all have our own. We all have our failures out here. So, anyways, oh, Tui gets man. me on the boat. And the transition, as I was saying, from shore filming to boat filming is pretty, it's, it's pretty jarring. The really sucky thing is, because of how complex my setup is, I have like a mirrorless camera, I have a, a ND filter on the lens, um, you have to know how to do all the f-stops, you have to understand when to do f-stops versus um, when to do the the ND filter. I have a gimbal which has two buttons and you have to memorize um, what all the settings are just from feel I guess there's no like screen or anything um, and I also have an external microphone recorder that uh, is its own thing so all that has to work in harmony in order for me to produce the quality that I am striving for like I don't want to produce shitty content there's tons of shitty fishing YouTubers out there that will just throw up like a GoPro uh, a, a girl profile and be like hey subscribe to me like I don't want to watch that like I barely want to watch um, a lot of these other YouTubers because how many times can you watch um, somebody catching halibut like how many times can you watch somebody catching rockfish it's it it's not really about the like the fish itself it should be a story that you tell um, through the video so that's kind of what I'm gonna try to go for um, this time around and not only that um, you also have this GoPro on your chest all the time so there's just a lot to do um, and what would really be awesome is if I had like a cameraman or a camera woman but um, in the short term 
I think I just need to figure out how to navigate this. So I, I think one of the big problems is like if Dewey has a fish on, I can grab his phone and just like record him, but uh, I don't think anybody can really do the same for me because just how complex all this stuff is to get this quality. Fish on, fish on. All right. Fish on for Lewis. Fish on right here. That was a good run. That's a good run. Oh, this is nice. Pull. Oh, a nice there we one. go. This is a nice one. Okay. Hopefully a striper. It's really like a striper. No, it, it, it's dead weight like a hell of it though. Uh, really? Yeah. Ooh. All right. Striper. All right. Striper. Tweet thinks it's a striper. I suspect something else, but I don't want to say it. The white sea bass? I don't no, think so. No, 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 no. Woo, it's running under the boat. Okay. A nice halibut. I don't think so. This is a maybe like a, a striper. Maybe even a shark. Look like a striper or a shark, leopard. That's you. Ooh, yeah. all right. Nice. That's not a halibut. Ooh. Look at the bend of that pole, guys. That's what I like about this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cup. Some guys I fish with, they fish with like rebar poles. They don't <laughs> bend at all. And that's just no fun. And you probably lose the fish too. All right, I can see the pink metered line here. And we're running instead. It feels so heavy. Ooh, it's a stingray. Stingray, I told you. It's a stingray. It's a sting stingray, guy. Yeah. Good fight. Okay. Oh my god. Hey, it looks so big with its wings out. So, that stingray fight was pretty cool. I've caught one before on Jeff's boat. Um, it was way bigger. I have a picture on Instagram, I think. That fight was a perfect example of um, how when something happens on the boat, I can't film it. Um, I only have my GoPro uh, to catch the action. And to be honest, I, what can you see? Like my hands and the rod. Um, you don't really see the rest of my body and what's going on around the boat, which is pretty disappointing. And yeah, so that's one of the challenges with filming on a boat. Oh, Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Stingray again! A stingray again! <laughs> Excited! <laughs> oh, a rockfish, yeah. No, no, you watch it right here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's a stingray. Okay, no, I lose you by me one, so don't worry. Oh, that's true. Oh! Halibut, halibut. oh big one, big, big halibut. Ooh, hold yeah, on, hold yeah. on. Yeah! yeah. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, hey, not bad. Right there, huh, brother. <laughs> See that? Oh, nice gap too. Yeah? Yeah, that's a nice, this is like 30 inches. That's why I acted like a... Don't tell me it's a stingray. <laughs> he said a stingray. <laughs> Luck. Hey, not bad. I thought it was a stingray, but it's yeah, a hell of it. It's a big one. It's probably the biggest one I've ever done. Alright, it's almost 2 o'clock, and so we want to pull out and go home. Uh, we did a pretty good day today. Usually when I go halibut fishing, it gets pretty boring because maybe you get like two bites, but today has been full of action. Uh, we got that pretty cool stingray. I got my personal best halibut, 32 inches, and we all got to fight a fish and we all got to, uh, we're, we're all getting to keep one, so uh, pretty good day. Uh, big thanks to Tui as always, you know, he does his best to uh, get us on the fish and Paul here, Tui's an uh, ex-student. Um, I think we all had a pretty good time, so yeah, thanks for joining us and I'll see you in the next video.